Sometimes, fishing is thought of as boring. Just sitting on a boat or a dock all day, watching something slightly bob in the water isn't many people's idea of fun. Fish everywhere. Oh my god. However, there are plenty of exciting moments, and here we are to bring the 15 most shocking fishing moments in the world. Florida man strikes again. There are about 1.3 million alligators in Florida. This means that there are a lot of teeth to watch out for. People rarely fish for alligators themselves, but sometimes they're lucky enough to get an extra bite. Here's one example. This man caught a bass, began reeling it in, and realized that the alligator had bitten down on it. His friend encouraged him to just keep on reeling it in, thinking the alligator would let it go. They were clearly much more scared of losing the bass than the gator. In the end, the alligator did win. It was able to leave with the fish. With how common alligators are, there are plenty of chances for people to interrupt with alligators, finding them in places like pools and garages. One woman even found a crocodile peeking into her windows. Still, we're not sure many people have went head to head with an alligator over a bass. Mostly, it's best to stay away from alligators, and if you find a nuanced alligator, call the hotline. Nuisance alligators are any over four feet who seem like they could harm people, pets, or property. In this case, the men should have at least left and possibly called the hotline depending on where they were, but if they would have done that, we wouldn't have gotten this awesome video. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. This picture may be the oddest of the video. There are many theories about mermaids, but many people say all those theories were hoaxes. This may be true. However, this picture could make anyone think twice. What did they catch? And if they didn't catch it, if it's photoshopped or something similar, how did they do it? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Just don't forget to use hashtag missing topic. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Guy catches hundreds of piranhas. Piranhas are known to be some of the scariest and even most dangerous fish. However, locals eat a lot of piranhas-based food, especially soup, which leaves visitors wondering how in the world they caught them. It turns out there's an easier way to catch them than most people have ever thought. Yep, you dip a piece of meat in the water and pull it out, then shake it over a bucket until all the piranhas fall off. You want to be sure your hand doesn't go in that water with the piranhas, and be careful with that meat not to get too close yourself. Still, it's common enough that it can't be so dangerous when you know what you're doing. This is just the sort of thing you have to learn how to do firsthand. One particular video shows a man catching hundreds of piranhas that way, standing with his toes just inches above the piranha. They're not as big or easily able to jump as we would expect, but that doesn't mean they won't feast on your toes. It seems like this is something that we would want to watch rather than do ourselves. Still, some of you are probably much braver than we are. Would you be willing to catch piranhas this way? Would you be willing to catch piranhas at all? <laughs> Asian Carp Disco Most people forget that the wrong fish even can be an invasive species. After all, aren't there fish in just about every body of water? What could make one fish so bad? But Asian carps are no regular fish. They grow to up to 100 pounds which is much bigger than the average fish in Minnesota, they could easily eat all the food for the native fish and kick them out of the waters they were first in. The fish were brought over by various means, normally human-caused, and now are going to reproduce up in Minnesota, as they're used to going upstream in order to have their young. This could completely decimate the population, so researchers have decided that they need to stop it using any means. This started with laboratory tests, but it's progressed past that now. They found that Asian carps don't like discos, this means if there are loud sounds and vibrations, they move away from the interruption. This was proven in labs, and now they're hopeful that it can get proven in the rivers as well. There are still some uncertainties about what they'll do, but officials are hopeful that this can be the beginning of a very happy, literally full life for the local fish. As can be seen in the video, the Asian carps go wild at the lights, jumping and splashing everywhere, so it makes sense that they would be similarly bothered in the wilderness. <laughs> Snagging a sturgeon. Sturgeon are animals that can weigh up to 4,400 pounds. That means they can be over 10 feet long. They're smaller in lakes, but never small animals. As can be seen in this video, sometimes sturgeons bite lines. But that doesn't mean anyone is about to reel them in. This could be lucky, as they're considered an endangered species. 70% decline has been in the last century alone. They're common in many areas, but not as common as they used to be. They can live up to 150 years and produce up to 3 million young, which makes them becoming endangered even more wild. 
and reminds us to be careful with wild animals and protect their habitat. They only give birth about every three years, and not till they're 30 years old or sometimes older. They eat mainly creatures of the ground, like shrimp and insect larvae, which makes the fact that they grow up so big absolutely crazy. Still, what they do eat, they eat a lot of. Sturgeon aren't generally thought of as being dangerous, but there was one incident where a five-year-old girl was killed a few years ago. This makes us nervous about just reeling them up in a kayak of all things. We'd be worried about tipping, but this man seems to have none of those fears. Good for him. Let's just remember that any sturgeon killed in fishing is one less sturgeon. <laughs> Grass fishing. Grass carp are one of the most common fish in the world, and yet many of us have never seen this type of fishing. There are a number of ways that fish can be caught, but we've never heard of moving the grass around to find fish like this that's done here. The man pushes the grass around with a special stick, then reaches under the grass to find a fish. We've never caught a fish barehanded, much less under grass. In other places, the grass is peeled off like a bandage to find the fish underneath. It seems like much easier to find fish that way than sitting all day with a hook and bobber. You simply have to know where to look, and then you can pull many fish out of the ground much easier than one at a time. It seems like many people are still learning how to fish, such as earlier in the video with piranhas. Perhaps this video is going to make better fishermen out of all of us. In many places, once grass carp are caught, they're asked to be returned back to the water unharmed, but in other areas, they're often caught and eaten. The latter seems to be true in this video. <laughs> Freaky toothfish. Sheep's head fish are some of the creepiest looking fish in the sea. From the outside, they may not seem to have much creepiness about them. They have a lot that could be seen as terrifying, mainly the fact that they have teeth that look entirely human. Of course, they must be fish teeth since they're in the mouths of fish, but they look more like human teeth than any other fish. They can grow up to 35 inches, which with the human teeth make them overwhelmingly scary. Their teeth are not only right behind the lips, but also rows are in their mouth. They have five total rows of molars, best for grinding up food. The foods they eat are mostly plants and very small animals, which makes the teeth seem a bit drastic. They're common in North and South America and weigh about 21 pounds on average. They're on the coast rather than lakes or other inland bodies of water. They've had trouble lately with the amount of pollution in the water, reminding us to keep our waters clean. They're important to areas to keep biodiversity strong, meaning keeping a variety of fish and plants around. So we need to keep them around. In addition, these fish are known to be great to eat but do not produce much meat. Who knows? Maybe someday you'll get to try some. Eagle swoops in. A man and his uncle are having a regular day fishing when the line pulls tight and he starts to wheel in a shark and then an amazing thing happens. An eagle swoops down to steal it. The fish is still on the line and the men get to catch it all on video. One of the men said they never thought of themselves as truly Floridian until they had this experience, which really showed him that he loved the nature all around him, the birds as well as the fish. But the bird had to be taken care of carefully. They handle it perfectly though they have no experience with it. They break the line short and then get the hook and line away from the eagle so that she can leave safely. If this happens to you, you want to cut the line as close to the bird as possible. The bird trailing a line could easily get hurt as it gets stuck on different items and not able to get away. If you're unable to help the bird, you should call for help if possible. Rather than cut a long line, many places with eagles have local raptor centers. This happens in Florida specifically, but it could happen anywhere with large birds and fish. Be careful and always remember a bird's life is more important than catching a fish and call for help if you need it. <laughs> Noodling with friends. Noodling is the name of any way of catching fish which is done by hand, but the term is often most used in the southern United States to describe the way of catching catfish. This is done by first finding a catfish hole. Then, when you do, that stick your hand in there and catch the catfish as it comes out. Sometimes this can make for a pretty large catch, but not generally as large as we see in the video. Many people said that when the video started, it looked like they were pretending the friend was the fish. However, when they yanked the friend out from under the water and he came up with the fish, it was bigger than anyone expected. Even the friends out of the water, like the one videoing, seem entirely shocked. This is part of the reason it took two people to get the fish out, and another friend helps carry the fish to get it out of the water. As it is, the friend whose head was underwater so long was very brave to be willing to lay under there for so long. However, with the fish they caught, it seems entirely worth it. <laughs> 
Skateboard Fishing Skateboard tricks are impressive in their own right, but this caught most people entirely off guard. This man jumps on a rail and doesn't quite seem to get the trick down as he slides into the water. That alone wouldn't be a video liked thousands of times, but what came next changed it entirely. He swam up moments later, holding a huge fish. There's no precedent for this, and a failed trick quickly becomes one that's amazing. It doesn't seem to be anything the man did on purpose, and we have no way of knowing what made him grab the fish. Did he hit it on his way down? Did he open his eyes and the moment just seemed right when he saw it in front of him? Whatever happened under the water, what happened above it was beautiful, and he deserves even more recognition than he has currently gotten. Share this video so we can watch him become famous, and if you don't think he deserves to be famous, do one better. Video it and send it our way. We may feature you in another video, but just as likely you can't catch a fish while skateboarding. Sinister Snakeheads Snakeheads are odd creatures as they can breathe both air and water. Young are even able to flop back to water when they're on land. This also means they can survive being transported to different places by humans. However, this shouldn't happen as they're highly invasive. They overtake anywhere they're put, and though they're native to certain parts of Asia, bringing them to Europe and the Americas has truly hurt the surrounding areas and keeping them alive. They eat the plants other fish would eat, as well as crabs and other small animals. As adults, they also become predatory, eating other fish and attacking reptiles and other animals. They can double their population in just 15 months so it's important that they not go in water that they're not meant to be in. There are worries of them taking over the Mississippi River. There seems to be some brought over as pets, others to hunt and eat, and others possibly by accident. For no reason should they come to the Americas, however. They mostly live in muddy streams and cannot handle salt water. However, they can live four days with no water at all. This makes them one of the oddest fish we've ever heard of, closer to amphibians. No matter what they are, we believe many people should travel to Asia to see them, and no one should take them anywhere else to be looked at. <laughs> Jellyfishing Jellyfish are common in certain parts of the world, such as in the Philippines, but they're rarely found in the number shown in this picture. There are thousands in the recording, all right at the top of the water. Since this was taken without many tourists there, it's thought that the restriction of humans on the beach could have made a difference. Some say they stay away when humans are there, going out further into the water, while others say that when humans are closer, they simply stay deep beneath the surface, rather than near the top of the water where they can be easily seen. Some scientists also say it has nothing to do with the numbers of tourists and much more with the naturally occurring rise and fall of species in the area that jellyfish eat. They say that the sea is a constantly changing place, and there's no reason to think that they would be less true now. In the end, we don't seem to be able to be certain. It's also unclear if we'll ever know, as tourists are flocking the beach once more and the jellyfish are going back to their normal life patterns. Still, we don't know if those things are related or just happen to be occurring around the same time. Koi Fish Whirlpool Everyone has seen the classic picture of koi fish swimming in a circle. The surprising thing is that we actually have no idea why they do that. There are a few theories, however. When inside a small habitat, they may be exploring the confines of their home and they want to play and exercise and they want to play and get exercise without many places to go. It's also possible that part of the reason is because they don't want to go anywhere, but they have to keep swimming. This seems especially like in the time they spend in schools or groups of fish. There are more worrisome options, such as poisoning, predators, or parasites, but these are less common as far as we can tell. The fish don't seem to be bothered when they're swimming in circles, and it's so common in both captivity and within their natural habitat, suggesting that there's no issue. At the very least, there's a pretty picture in it all, and we know that koi fish are not hurt by the motion. Just remember, if you have pet fish, take very good care of them, and if their behavior changes greatly, check their water quality and other important factors. <laughs> Shark stalks kayak Sometimes, kayakers see the weirdest things. It's kind of like crime shows, where it's always the runners who see the crimes. These two kayakers saw the fin in the background and realized what it was as it came closer, a shark that was about 16 and a half feet long. Now, we don't know what you would do if you saw a 16 and a half foot shark, but they don't know what we would do. That much is certain. The first thing the man does is pull out a camera. This comes even before trying to get away from the shark and then they don't necessarily try to outrun the shark. This is probably reasonable, as we're not sure you'd be able to just outrun a shark. However, they do try splashing it with their oars. To be honest, we found this a little funny. Sharks are swimming in water, so it doesn't seem like adding more water would work, and in this case, it didn't. Still, they reported little fear, 
and said they'd be fishing in that deep again the next weekend. In fact, in the whole situation with the shark from that scene, they never stopped fishing. Whether this is brave or stupid, we don't know. But at the very least, they're committed to their craft and they were lucky enough not to hook the shark. The Bluefin Beast one fisherman caught a fish out of the ocean in a solo fishing trip. This would seem mundane enough until you realize that the fish was a 9-foot-long bluefin tuna that weighed over 600 pounds. She had to hoist it up with ropes, and the whole boat shook as she did so. This takes some real courage, but it also takes smarts and experience, of which Michelle has both. She's a commercial fisherman of her own right and also takes people on fishing expeditions into the ocean. Her boat is named No Limits, and it seems like a reasonable name for what she does. Luckily, bluefin tuna are known to be safe to catch and eat, and they're monitored on how much they're fished, and they have a population which can handle losing some members. In addition, some of the fish are 13 feet long and weigh 2,000 pounds, so even if Michelle caught one big one, there are many more she can catch in the future and seem even more impressive. As long as she doesn't capsize her boat, there are even people in a boat next to her, waiting to cheer her on when she gets inside. Hopefully, those cheers will be from us next. The Biggest Catch of All Recently, a junior surfing event was canceled when something was saw out in the water. As you can guess, that something was a shark. They looked at it at a distance and realized it was about 23 feet long. The shark was studied from the air, where many are studied from, and it was much larger than the average shark. The surface life-saving carnival does good work, and many people were devastated at it being cut off early. Not only did those close to the edge of the water have to come in, but those further out in the water were evacuated by boat. Can you imagine training for so long only to learn that there was a 23-foot shark behind you that needed to be brought to safety immediately? We're uncertain if we'd be angry or thankful, so we'd love to hear your thoughts here. Do you want to be saved from the sharks or be in the event of a lifetime? Plus, you could see a shark up close. Be sure to let us know what you think. As you can see, there are some pretty shocking fishing moments in our world. This can be seen in all of these stories, but we're sure this can be seen in other stories as well. Do you or a friend have a great fishing story? Share it here and be sure to share videos when you can. First, share this with your friends, then share your video with us. 